action. Dr. Christoph Tornau meets up with Ed Fuel, a Portuguese visual artist and illustrator called Diogo Machado, born in 1980, who has put his work in the Underdogs Gallery on display. Diogo is a former graphic designer. His recent artistic practice has been focused on reinterpreting and playing with the language of traditional tile design, and that of the Portuguese tin glazed ceramic azuleo in particular. Christoph interviews Diogo in the streets of Lisbon where his work is officially cemented into the walls of the Portuguese capital. Hello, Diogo. Hello. Nice for having us here. We are here in front of um, a mural. Yes. And you told me that it's the last part of your recent show. Yeah. Could you tell us about the show? Where is it and what is it about? Uh, yeah, so this mural can be, you know, can be called as the, the last chapter of, of the, the show called uh, Chronos Redux. So the show is a solo show? So the show is a solo show. Um, it has been going on for like a month and a half already and it's practically sold out, which is good. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so this is connected to the Underdogs Public Art Program. So it is the public art installation connected to the show. And um, how can I understand this? So when underdogs is having like a solo show, they usually try to do something um, within the city as well. So yes. this is typical. Yes, from what I understand, there's a, for each artist that does a, a, a solo show at the gallery, there is a public art intervention like a mural okay. or, 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 a, or a sculpture or some, some kind of public art connected to the show. And, uh, yeah. and this is the first solo show you did with them? This is the second solo show. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, I mean, we are in Portugal and I've seen many tiles and um, on the first look, they look similar to yours, but obviously... Well, mine look similar to them. Yeah, probably yeah. it's the right <laughs> uh, way to explain it. But um, for somebody who hasn't been to Portugal or does know about Portuguese culture and aesthetics, could you briefly explain what it is about the tiles? Sure. So this goes back like many centuries ago, you know, when Portugal used to be uh, occupied by the Moorish. Yes. And the Moorish left, uh, left a lot of like a, a very big um, tradition and cultural heritage with tiles and with, with painted ceramics. So we as Portuguese, you know, we, we adapt and we, we, we absorb. So we uh, took this knowledge and, and absorbed it and made it and brought it into our culture. So it is very common in Portugal to see uh, tile uh, building facades, you know, there's, there's tiles everywhere outside, inside, uh, uh, outside and inside the, 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 the buildings. Uh, the, you know, the, there's, there's the, the something very particular about the colorway, which is uh, cobalt blue and white. Okay. Uh, this is due to the fact that back in the day, uh, cobalt blue was basically the, the easiest uh, and most accessible color to find. It's an, easy, it's an easy explanation. Uh, so the tile aesthetic that, that is connected with this tradition and heritage of, uh, of Portuguese tiles, it's something that my work uh, draws a lot of inspiration from. Um, and how do, for example, elderly Portuguese people um, that see your work probably for the first time react to it? Uh, it's, it's funny because, you know, uh, I, so I, I thought about this and, and this is like, my work can be seen from from very small kids to very old people because yes. very small kids can take a look and discover all the elements inside the tiles because you know my work is about to re rework and rethink and re adapt and, and create something bring something traditional and, and 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 culturally like a cultural heritage bring it to a modern and more contemporary uh, aesthetic so it is so and and, and i do that like um including my own visual work and my drawing style, apply it within the tile itself, with the tile elements. So, you know, smaller kids can just look inside and find funny creatures or, or kind of um, like gooey stuff or, or like a lot of different elements and older people can just look at it and perceive it as a traditional patternized piece. So it's, okay, it's, it's, it has a double meaning, a double reading. But for somebody for example, I could imagine never traveled out of Portugal yep. and it's like in the 60s, 
how do they usually react? Do they think, yeah, that's cool, you, we, you're keeping our cultural yeah. heritage and you're changing a bit? Because sometimes there are things, um, some design patterns that are quite modern and probably for somebody who's old school and doesn't have um, or just lives in tradition, is it difficult or do they just think nice that you're doing this and thank you for uh, keeping the heritage I, I, up? I never had actually any bad reactions, you know. Yes. Um, it's, 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 I like to consider my work as something that is eye-pleasing, you know, it's, yeah. it's not offensive, it's not, it's, it's not, it, ha, it does not have a political message. I mean, uh, no violence, no violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's something that it's like easy to just enjoy, you know, and I've never had actually bad feedback from people that are not outside of Portugal. The, the exotic factor kicks in. Yes. So it's something exotic. It's something that it's not familiar to them because they are not, you know, it's not something part of their culture, but it's something that it's interesting. And in some way they, like a lot of people, connect it to uh, some holiday somewhere. Yes. Or that time they visit some, t some place in Europe or like on, on the Mediterranean or even Portugal, you know? So, so you know, it, it can be perceived as, as, as from, from, for Portuguese people, it's immediately, immediately recognizable. And for people that are not Portuguese, but still have some connection or, you know, Spanish people, uh, like French people, there's a lot like the Dutch, you know, the people like that have some sort of tile culture, they will understand it also. And for people that do not have this as a, in the back of their minds, they don't have anything like that connects it to, to some sort of, of tradition. They will find it exotic. They will find it interesting. You know, it's like, what, what is this artist doing? So it's like a curiosity. Yeah, thing. we have some tiles in Germany, but I would say that the tile culture, as you um, described it here, is much deeper and wider. Yeah. But one thing about these tiles, um, are you just using traditional techniques um, to produce them or did you need some time um, to create um, your craftsmanship? So the, the result of the, the tiles themselves, like the my tiles, they are the result of, of, of a lot of research that I did. Um, I actually, so I, I also paint murals and this is actually like my, my main focus on as, as, as an artist, as a muralist, yes. um, I use spray paint and I paint. Okay. Uh, the tile installations is something that I'm trying more and more to, ha to happen. And the tiles are also more, um, it's an element that I use more for studio work. Yes.